could it be that the reason why you lost your sense of emotional connection towards the things that you love or your work or your hobbies is because you are burnt out like there are people here who are burnt out and you don't even realize it like instead of you feeling stress or you you feel your emotions you feel nothing like there are those of you who lost sight of your emotional connection towards all the things that would bring you joy like do you find yourself feeling this way it could be that you're burnt out and today if you are burnt out i want to encourage you to find rest in god in the book of matthew chapter 11 jesus says this come to me all you who are heavy laden and i will give you rest you could find rest in the savior you could find rest in jesus let jesus be your rest when you are burnt out let jesus be your strength when you're losing hope let jesus give you hope when you feel depressed or when you feel defeated you could find the victory over burnout in jesus christ and today, if you feel burnt out, I want to encourage you to pray and ask the Lord to give you his spirit so that the Holy Spirit could pour out upon you and fill you with brand new hope and brand new strength to fight for what, what I would call the purpose over your life, to fight for meaning in Christ, to fight for your joy, because the joy of the Lord is your strength. And where the presence of the Lord is, there is freedom. Where the presence of the Lord is, you find refreshing. Times of refreshing comes from the presence of the Lord. And I believe that there are those of you who are going to get your joy back. You're going to find joy in the things that you enjoy, the things that you love. You're going to find joy in your work. It's time that God... I believe that God's going to bring back your emotional connection because there are those of you who are emotionally numb and God did not give you emotions for you to numb it. God gave you emotions so that you could feel it. And I know a lot of you don't don't think that because we are so stuck on this idea that God cares about everything spiritual. But last time I checked, the scripture tells us that the word became flesh and dwelt among us. Like God became a human being. So that means he understands what it feels like to be human. We have not a high priest who cannot be touched by the feelings of our infirmities. Jesus knows what it feels like to go through emotional pain. He knows what it feels like to go through what you are going through. So you may experience some pain right now, some numbness. He knows what it feels like because the scripture tells us that his sweat was like blood when he was praying in the garden of Gethsemane. When Jesus was at the lowest point of his life, before he went on that cross to die a death, that we should have died. The, the Bible tells us that he experienced agony he there was a want for strength he, he he was so low that he felt weak not only emotionally but spiritually so he knows what it feels like but god doesn't want you to to not be in tune with your emotions so it is my prayer that you get your joy back that whatever it is that's overwhelming you that you would be overwhelmed by the holy spirit overwhelmed by the presence of God. Father, speak to those who are listening right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray over the mind and the hearts of every person that's watching. And I ask Heavenly Father that the Holy Spirit would comfort and that the Holy Spirit would meet this person right where they are. Holy Spirit, speak to them. Draw them closer to you. Wrap them in your arms, God. They need you right now. They need you, Lord. Wrap them in your arms. 
And we access and pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.